getting 15% off if I want to get them. So, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you for the savings. <laughs> Uh, 1700, sorry, 1700. Oh. I mean, so it's like a, more than the cost of my bike <laughs> for wheels. Like a, like a month yeah, almost that's like two. <laughs> But yeah, I guess one thing about this versus the river is this is more like less tree cover. Yeah. But yeah, you can't really avoid the hills on the river. Yeah. I mean, there's not, if we go north, there's not huge hills, but I mean, like, then you're on the road for a long time. Huh? Uh, I mean, once you get to the 42nd avenue bridge and get back on the trail but that's a i mean you know that's 30 32 blocks that you're on the road actually you can get on the block on the trail for like a couple of blocks but i find it much more efficient to just stay on second and then you get up to the 42nd avenue bridge and then you can get on the trail but I mean, and the other thing is, is that like you go through this industrial area, so there's all this glass and shit everywhere. So, but it's nice because there's not a lot of people. But you know, it's like anything. There's pros and cons. Any place that's super good is going to end up being crowded or ridiculously hard to get to or expensive or you know and you know some people they they just they avoid all the city stuff and then they just put their bike on a car and go to where they want to ride to me that kind of defeats the purpose of having a bike but faster on the way back although you know some of that initial stuff on the road probably really hurt our average speed yeah. so that's one thing that I figured out yesterday is like it really kills your speed stoplights even before I got the summit I had realized like just getting to the trail like how slow I went and yeah. This has got the tailwind in it. Yeah. Where's that from? Amazon. They mostly market it for runners, but because I because you like slosh your stomach more when you run and when you bike, but. Yeah. 
the idea is that it's easy on the stomach. How so? Uh, you know, it's just like, well, for one thing, it's not super sweet. And so like a lot of like energy drinks and stuff are like, or like Gatorade, they're like super sweet. Uh, so if you're like, you know, 75 miles into a 100K running, <laughs> And like your body is like kind of like nobody is happy at that point in that race and <laughs> so like your body is just like fuck this i'm not taking more sugar but you like need to force yourself to like take in sugar yeah so like tell me and like are you okay sorry <laughs> yeah i was like trying to use my sugar not me over <laughs> um Need some more water or okay. Um Oh I have like a diet that one day. I went to work. I had time so I went to the cafeteria and I didn't have any like um regular Gatorade. They just yeah. have like sugar three. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> That's the whole point of the sugar. Well, I mean, if they have sodium and stuff, I mean, it's not... No, but I wanted something like that would be small. Yeah. So I ended up buying this, like, probiotic coconut water with electrolytes. Yeah. It was, like, almost $5. Okay, let's... Well, you know, a, a lot of this stuff is expensive, but that's why, uh... Well, that's one reason why that people do things like honey water. I mean, you can put salt in it, put some salt in it. Yeah, I'm sure you can look at recipes. Yeah, I mean, I've done it in the past. That's what they do in their whole country. Some people have, uh, what's it called? Diarrhea. Uh, yeah, more specific. Dysentery? Yeah. On the, like, on the Oregon Trail. I have this like advanced bike fitting thing at uh what the hell did we stop for you know, like decided that we stopped probably because it went because it uh got to uh because uh, they lost the gps underneath this thing okay and then it refound it i've never seen it do that but i usually don't keep it on because uh battery life like having the screen on like kills the battery life i'm at 85 percent right now just from like the ride out there well i mean the gps runs it down too now you could cut up there but i guess we wouldn't be really on the right part of the road could go around and come up the other way but that runs on the weekend. It doesn't run as often, I don't think. But yeah, it runs. It's nice it runs. I don't know yeah. if you're losing money. Well, I mean, on Twins games days, they might not. Because oh. even on the, in Baltimore, the Maryland thing didn't start running on the weekends until recently. That's not true. You've said that before, and it was, that's, huh? it's not true. One of the, the Camden line didn't run, but the Penn line ran. On the weekends? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Well, I don't know about always, but when we were there, it did. Well, when I visited for my interview, I had to take the Amtrak back. But you were probably trying to get to... 
Um, yeah. We're not really supposed to be on the sidewalk. We could probably get you some thinner tires. It's gonna be bumpier if you get thinner tires, but you'll be faster. There you go, there's a hill for you. All right, we got 10 seconds. All right. Where is it at? probably just go across on uh, this one if there's nobody coming because it's only one way well just make sure there's nobody coming yeah, yeah I pedal faster <laughs> You need your, their card, right? Oh. Okay, well. I mean, I thought that's the way they worked.
no, yeah other. well,